Welcome back everyone. It's me again, that boring guy. Back at you with another video on my final thoughts of the Jomo Exo Armor. This guy. This big fat behemoth. Don't have much to say about it. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Depends on my mood. Because I can ramble and ramble and ramble about the stupidest things. Anyways, you're not here, here to see me ramble about stupid things, are you? You're here for me to talk about this stupid thing. Let's start off with pros, because there's not very much pros in my mind. The design is fun, and it's different, and it's a conversation starter a little bit. The uh, the Yeehee chip is pretty cool. It works pretty decently. Some flaws, but it works pretty decently. I've never had a mod that used the Yeehee chip, I don't believe. Not that my mind recalls, but I know it's in this one, and it works all right. So, pros are gone. There we go. Um... Cons. I'm going to start off at the top of this thing. When you put any RDA, RDTA, sub ohms, RBAs, anything like that, there is going to be a gap between it and the mod. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you guys, but I like it when things are tight and snug and flush and it's supposed to fit how they're supposed to another thing why why couldn't you just put the zinc alloy plates integrated it right into the mod Yes, I know you're trying to go for creative, make your own look. It ain't working for me. It's it's not my thing. Next time, just put it into the build it. Just put it, put it, but build it right into the mod. If people want to go and mo like modify the look of their 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 mod, they can go buy some skins. Wrap it up in some stickers. Because every time I take go to take the battery door off, I always pull off the stupid plate and it goes flying. Another thing. This is how thick, like, the, the battery door with them on is... It's, it's got some half to it. And when you look, like, all the... Those are all magnets. Just for those those plates. And it's like that on the front too. It's just it's crazy guys. And this thing, this thing is so thick. Like for a mod that they are so proud to announce they took a year to make, you think they could have made this thing a little bit sleeker. Put it on a diet. Put it on the treadmill, make do some do some do some miles on it. No, they just let this thing just pork out on the couch and get fat. If you could have just maybe made this thing a little bit slimmer and better ergonomics to hold it in your hand to make it more comfortable with some better plastic, not this cheap ugly plastic, then sure, you would have had an, an A in design. And don't get me wrong, I said the design, and the look of it was kind of fun. And don't get me wrong, it kind of is. But it needs to go a long way for me to actually like it. Like, there's one reviewer that I saw, they're like, man, this thing looks like it's a power-up machine, power-up device on Power Rangers. 
I ended up laughing so hard because I could see it too. But because this thing is so chunky and big, like it literally. I don't know what else to say about that. Getting the batteries in this thing is snug AF. <laughs> you have to fight to get the batteries in. Using this thing above 100 watts, you're going to be taking a lot of breaks. A lot of breaks. I uh, tested over 100 watts, probably around that 150 range if my mind serves me correct. I took two hits and it said it was too hot. I've never had that happen before. The boys from Jomo says the Yihi chip has an overheat protection, which all mods have. Well, not all, I should say, but pretty dang near most has an overheat protection. I've never encountered a mod saying too hot over two hits at 150. Sorry guys, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if it's set too low. You guys said it's for 65. Um, but two hits and this thing's already hot at 150? This is full handle 300 watts. Equal to 300, anywhere near 300 watts, which I don't think why you would even need to. You're going to take one hit and it's going to be too long. You're going to have to take a five minute break. I'm sorry, yeah, that, it just doesn't make sense to me. Ah, uh, what else? Price. This thing, when it was released, was $300. $300. Hell no. They lowered it down to $200. $199.9. Hell no, still. They lower it to $169.9. So about $170. I'm still saying hell no. Uh, I'm in Canada. That puts the currency to us at two hundred and thirty dollars. Now, if any of my fellow Canadians want to go spend two hundred thirty dollars on this thing, you can go right ahead and waste your money. I salute you, pal. I'm gonna call you an idiot. It ain't worth it ain't worth that amount of money. Now, if you're going to make a premium mod, this is another thing I want to point out. Don't worry, it's not an exposed chipboard. It's a fake chipboard. I don't know about you, but that's tacky and brutal. Like it's a, it's stuck on there, like it's a sticker. That battery bay is not clean as hell. 
the battery door is not clean looking at all because it's covered in magnets. So there you go guys, there you go. Those are my final opinions on this thing. I used it. I'm not going to say I use it as my daily driver because let's face it, I was not going to carry this thing around in my pocket because it ain't going to fit in my pocket. This thing is more like a sit at home and watch a movie or edit your videos on the computer type of smoking device. I hate these plates. I really do. Anyways, from what I've used, I could already tell you that it is not my ideal mod to use. I'm not a big fan of it. I was very disappointed. I'm not going to recommend it. I can't. I can't tell you to go spend that much money on this thing. I can't. Please don't. That's a lot of money. But you know what? Each their own. Each their own. You know, we're all individuals. You may love this thing to bits and pieces. For me, it's not my cup of tea. Some people are going to think, why did I even do a review on this thing? To just let you guys know. <laughs> anyway, anyways, guys, that's the uh, excellent by Jomo. You guys can take my thoughts or leave it. Anyways, I have another mod coming in. And I'm super excited for it, actually. So uh, you guys stay tuned for the next video. Peace out, everyone. Have a fantastic week.